So I'm working as a bagger at a grocery store, the model employee. I would hide in the boiler room, break beer bottles in the back, do whatever the damn hell I wanted. Was I a bad worker? Not really. I was reliable, helpful, and courteous to people as long as they weren't rude. Then we had a problem. Safe to say there were a lot of problems. The store is in a very affluent neighborhood. Million dollar houses are the norm, not the exception. So you can imagine the smug parasites foaming at the mouth to treat us modest workers like trash. You see, I don't come from wealth. My parents taught me to keep fighting and do everything my way. Always have, always will. I don't bow before kings, let alone the filth that permeates the store. Anyways, a man approaches me. Nothing stuck out immediately. He had a black hat on, hoodie over it. Looked like he was trying to lay low. He asked me in French. Excuse, monsieur. You saw les pis. Where are the spices for those of you who don't speak the language? And as I was about to direct him to the spices, I got a good look at his face. And I thought to myself, I know this guy. He looks familiar. He was on TV a lot when I was younger. Who is it? Is it Bam Margera? Derek Wembley? Gerard Way? And then I figured it all out when a song came to my head. I knew it was Pierre Bouvier, the lead singer of Simple Plan. And I knew I had the perfect opportunity. Standing right in front of me was one of the kings of mid-aughts whining music under the guise of punk. Not about bucking the system, taking it to the man, no. All he did was whine about mommy and daddy. You see, Pierre, I like my parents. Mine couldn't give me the world unlike yours. I had to pay my way through school, scratch and clawed every opportunity. And I wouldn't change a damn thing about it. Welcome to my life, Pierre. Anyone else would have begged you for a photo or an autograph. But that ain't me. You think I want your signature? That's worth what, $7 on eBay these days? No. See, it's not about you, Pierre. Yeah, you came into my store, my yard, but it's about what you represent. You are the epitome of these rich people who come here and try and stomp on little workers like myself. All you had to do, all you had to do was look up to the stars and see that sign, aisle three. You know what's under it? A piss. But no, what are you people gonna do without me? You need us. You need us. And you know what I did to prove that point? I sent him to the wrong aisle. I know, I'd do anything to see the reaction on his face when he couldn't find his spices. You see, I'm just a grown man, Pierre, and I hope I made your life a nightmare. <laughs>